my countertop isn't this tall. I have to kneel down to get everything in the shot. So I'm gonna be making my famous iced coffee. I got some water, because I'm using a cold brew concentrate, some more coffee, a cup, some ice, because it's iced coffee, and a little bit of half and half. Now you can use anything you like. I like a splash of half and half in mine. Now first, you load it up with the ice. You want it nice and cold. I'm not gonna put too much, because I don't want it to be too cold, but just enough. Then, ooh, there's a little, at least, you know. All right, so then you're gonna take your cold brew concentrate. Now you can make your own cold brew, I've done that. I'm feeling lazy. I haven't made coffee in a while, so feeling lazy. So you open it up. You can always also use these in the Keurig, fun fact. You're gonna open them up and you're gonna pour it in. Now, the directions say that you need to add eight ounces of water because it's concentrated. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water, probably about that much. That looks good, yeah? Then I'm gonna add some regular coffee because we need extra caffeine today. Okay, I'm gonna add a few more ice cubes because that's gonna melt. Because it's hot coffee. And we need cold coffee. So we're gonna give her a taste. Yeah, she needs more water. That that co ooh, that concentrate is strong. Okay. Now remember, the ice will melt too, so don't make it too weak. Now we're gonna take some half and half. You gotta shake it up first. Get it nice and foamy, and then we're gonna pour it out. And you can see that there's some nice foam. At the I put too much. It's fine. It's strong anyway. There's some nice foam at the top, so it's kind of like a cold brew from Starbucks, and Starbucks by my house is closed. Let's give it a taste. That's very good. I'm feeling like all of today is just gonna be me cooking or doing homework. So stay tuned. 